vibration. My one solution is my queen, cause she's be strong. Yeah, she is always in my corner. So I'm starting off with making the banana cinnamon french toast. So you'll need some almond milk or regular milk, an egg, some ground cinnamon, some healthy toast. I use angelic, it is whole grain, and a whisk. And then you can use a griddle or a pan. And just spray your pan or griddle with some non-stick cooking spray. Then crack your egg. I cracked it with one hand. I was so proud of myself. Put some almond milk or whatever milk you're using, some cinnamon, and whisk it all together. Then you're gonna soak your bread into the mixture and then flap it on the pan. It'll make a sizzle sizzle noise. Do that to the same, do the same thing to the next bread. Sizzle sizzle. And then you're just going to wait for that to cook. While you're waiting, you can cut up some bananas to put on top. Flip your bread once it's ready. It should be golden brown. And yeah, just wait, 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 and then flip it again. Make sure it's golden brown on the other side, and it should be good to go. So flop that on your plate, put your bananas on top, and you're good to go. You can also add some more cinnamon to the top and some syrup for some added sweetness. And that is it for the banana cinnamon French toast. And I ate that in like five minutes because it was so good. All right, so now for dinner, I'm gonna be making pasta salad and a salad. So I started off with taking my spiral noodles. These are whole grain and I put them in the pot right there and they're just cooking up. For the pasta salad, you'll need some fresh mozzarella pearl balls, some Parmesan, shredded carrots, bell peppers, and broccoli. So while the pasta's cooking, we are going to chop our veggies. Oh, and avocado. So after you're done cutting your broccoli, you want to put that right into the pasta so that it blanches or whatever. It kind of like steams in the pasta, so you want to like cook it a little bit because the pasta should be really hot. Then finish cutting your vegetables, so I'm just cutting the bell peppers. And then you can just add those bell peppers to the bowl. Now I'm going to put the carrots in. So now we are just going to put this in another bowl and then let that chill in the fridge. And while the pasta is chilling, I'm just cutting up my avocado and yes, it is really ripe, but you know, it tasted good, so that's all that matters. So I'm just cutting it up and putting it in the bowl. So next we're gonna make a strawberry spinach salad. Whoa, that was a ghost. So get out your spinach and let's get started making. So basically, you're just gonna cut your strawberries, take your spinach, put it together, add some dressing, you're done. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So I'm just taking my spinach, putting it in the bowl, and it's super simple. It's basically what I just said, so I don't know what I'm ex why I'm explaining it to you again, but you know, just putting the spinach in there, then cutting up the strawberries, put them in. There's really no wrong way to do this, you know. <laughs> it's kind of self-explanatory. So now I'm just going to add some mozzarella balls and some Parmesan cheese and then add the dressing and then we will be good to go. Woohoo! Basically, you just mix the whole thing together. It's super easy. I mean, the hard part is just cutting everything. But once it's in, it's easy, and it literally it tasted so good. I could not stop eating it. I'm not just saying that. So now I'm just going to take the cool. strawberry poppy seed dressing by Marizetti and just pour that on top of the strawberry salad. So that was it for the dinner portion, and I really loved this. It was so good. I ate all of it, and. Um, I think it's just like the perfect summer dinner. It's so colorful and you know summery So thank you guys so much for watching if you guys want to see my last video Please click on the link right here, and you can watch my hairstyles video Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video